Hello, children. How are you all? Yes, I hope you are all fine. Have you all enjoyed our leader in me sessions? Yes, are you all practicing those habits? That's great. Let's start today's session. Today we are going to see a small recap of habit number 1, 2 and 3. Later we are going to see habit number 4 and 5 in detail. Okay, habit number 1. Ha what's habit number 1? Be proactive. Be proactive means what? You are in charge of your happiness. You are in charge of all your actions. Okay? Yes, you will not blame others for your wrong actions. You do the right thing without being asked when no one is looking. So, these are all the five points of habit number one. Habit number two is set a goal, plan ahead. Set a goal, plan ahead. That is habit number two. You do the things that have meaning and make difference in others mind yes it's an important thing what is the important thing in habit number two you are all all the students are important part of the classroom so you should contribute to your school's mission and vision then you look for the ways to be a good citizen good citizen in the sense yes you will be a good person by following these habits habit number Three, put first thing first. Work first, then play. Work first, then play. You spend time on things that are most important. First of all, what is the important thing? You should spend time for that. Then only you go for the next things. Set the priorities. You should set priorities. Work accordingly. Make a schedule and be organized. Okay? Yes, let's go to the habit number four. What's habit number four? It's think win-win. Think win-win means what? Yes, I'll tell you. I win, you win, together we win. Repeat along with me. I win, you win, together we win. So, you don't want others to lose for your win. Others also can win and you can also win. Got it? Okay, everyone can win. What's this habit? Meaning is everyone can win. I balance courage for getting what I want with consideration for what others want. Yes, I'll explain. I balance courage in the sense I'll be brave of getting what I want. Okay, for example, if you want to get first rank in the exam, you should be brave for working towards that. Yes, with consideration for what others want. For example, your friend also thinking he to want to get first mark or he to want to get a good mark. You can help him, no issues. Am I right? You both can get the first rank. Is there any condition of only one person can get first rank? No, not like that. Any number of person can get the first rank. The so, consider others win also. Okay, I make deposits in others' emotional bank account. Emotional bank account is the mind, the heart of others. How, how you make them to feel. That is the emotional bank account. For you as a child, we will make the emotional bank account and keep it in our classroom as small models. In that, you will be uh, depositing the appreciations by writing in a chit. Okay, a piece of paper, you will be writing the all the appreciations, whatever you want to wish your friend, you will be writing that and putting in that EBA. Okay. Okay, children. Deposits are not only proactive languages as well as the how you feel. If you feel sorry, you can write sorry for my mistake. Like that you can write and put it in the particular person's EBA. Okay, when conflicts arise, conflicts, when conflicts arise, I look for third alternative. Conflicts means difference of opinion. Even though you are all best friends, even though a person is your best friend, 
you both may have difference of opinion at a certain point at a particular time you may have difference of opinion at that time what should you do you should go for the third alternative third alternative in the sense for example your friend wants to play chess you want to play cricket what will you do you both will be arguing that's not fair what will you do if you have two hours time means one hour you can play chess and one hour you can play cricket or else today you can play chess and tomorrow you can play cricket like that come to a third alternative the third alternative should not hurt any one of you it should satisfy both of you it should make happy it should be a solution to get both of your wants okay deposit means what i said all the good words whatever you speak to make others feel happy for example you are good you are beautiful you are clever like that whatever appreciation you are giving those words are called a deposits got it children yes let's go to the next slide now you are going to listen to a video after the video we'll be discussing about the habit number 4 It takes courage to explain to you my point of view and considering what you want is important to I will always work so that everyone wins cooperation is a way to lose today think it through from another point of view point of view make a choice because we all have a voice we can make the world a better place you and i can find a way so everyone is happy in the end if we think win win best of friends may disagree but we can still both walk away smiling and i will always work so that everyone wins cooperation is Yes, have you all enjoyed the video? Very good, children. So from this video, as I said earlier, even though the best friends may disagree at some point of time, so at that time you should go for the third alternative. You should consider others' point of view also. Okay, let's see what is meant by deposits in detail. Okay, deposit means what? As I said earlier, proactive words. Okay, what is this word? Good. next word excellent good excellent beautiful clever nice tasty delicious these are all some proactive words which you make as deposits in others heart okay so as you save money in the bank whenever you save money in the bank that is called deposit if you take the money back that is called withdraw so which will make you happy deposit or withdraw 
if you withdraw money that will be spent uh, at that time itself but if uh, if you deposit money means that will grow am i right that will ma- uh, uh, fee- make you feel safe so same way if you put deposit in others heart each dollar you think it as deposit this much of words you are going to make as deposit in others eba means how others will feel they will think they will like you so much they will think you as their favorite leader am i right so each word whatever you say also important okay each word whatever you say you should speak as a leader okay if your friend is writing very beautifully how will you appreciate you can use any one of these first uh, four words five words okay good handwriting excellent handwriting beautiful handwriting clever work nice handwriting like that you will be appreciating him am i right if your mom is cooking a de- tasty food how will you appreciate your mom mom it's a tasty food it's really tasty it's delicious if you say these words everyone will feel happy am i right yes now let's know what is meant by withdrawal to avoid those words okay to avoid those words withdrawals means bad ugly these are all uh, these two are some example words not only these words whatever word you are speaking and whatever actions you are doing which hurt others if you hurt others through your word or action that is meant by withdrawal would you like to hurt others no very good children you will never hurt others you behave good you, which one will you choose deposit or withdraw deposit excellent children so always use the deposit words and make everyone happy and you will also feel happy whatever you see whatever you that is what you do whatever you do will be whatever you get whatever you get is whatever you see okay children now look here this person is hurting her so this is reactive this two person uh, people are fighting so this is also reactive look here this boy is helping proactive these two boys are friendly proactive this boy is reacting to a problem after it arises this is reactive wrong for example for the next day's class if you arrange your bag uh, at that day if you have art and uh, art and craft class means what will you do you will be having your crayons and drawing book also if you are not arranging the bag previous day means what will happen you will not have your things to do then you will feel like this only you want to be proactive or reactive very good proactive arrange your bag daily okay for the next day's class you f- prevent the problems before they arise preventing means avoiding the problems before they arise okay look here these two people are fighting they are reactive this boy is damaging the toy this is also reactive but look here these people are working together as a team this boy win she also win he also win so this is proactive i hope you all understood children yes okay this boy is uh, uh, frightening him so that is bad habit if you threaten someone that is bad habit now look here these are all what these are all deposits these people are working together and making deposits with each other this is proactive so you don't want anyone to lose in this world okay everyone can win together as a team okay everyone can win tell along with me i win you win together we win say all again i win you win together we win now let's go to the fifth habit in this fifth habit what is the fifth habit seek first to understand then to be understood seek first to understand then to be understood seek first to understand then to be understood means what listen before you talk that's all very simple whenever you want to talk first listen to the people then you talk accordingly got it what other people's ideas you listen to the other people's ideas give respect to other f- feelings also try to see things from their point of view 
and listen to others without interrupting interrupting is really a bad manners if you if two uh, people are talking means if you are talking in between that is called interrupting without asking permission if you put your nose in others work that is called interrupting okay i am confident in my voicing voicing my ideas in the sense you you are expressing your ideas whatever you feel whatever ideas comes in your mind you are expressing that confidently that is a leadership quality you should be confident by expressing your ideas i look at the people's eye whenever someone is talking to you look at the people's eye and listen okay that is the respect you are giving to other person got it so these are all the five points of habit number 5 listen before you talk when you should listen empathically empathic listening in the sense caring about others okay you are listening to someone to care about them you are giving respect to their feeling that is called empathic listening let's go to the next one now you are going to listen to a video after the video let's continue the discussion how others can think so differently but i'll do my best to come around ignore my pride and put myself into the shoes of someone else maybe a better way can be Yes children i hope you all enjoyed the video am i right very good before you say something before you talk to anyone first of all ensure that everyone can hear you that is everyone is listening at you listening to you or not first of all ensure that then you talk okay how a good leader will talk yes it's here yeah good leader will always speak simply simply in the sense easy to understand whatever you say it should be easy to understand and confidently confidently means be brave be bold to express your ideas you should express your ideas very boldly clearly clearly in the sense don't without confusing others you should speak next one effectively effectively in the sense whatever you speak that should be useful okay don't speak meaningless speak meaningfully next one audibly audibly in the sense ensure that your speech is audible to others if it is heard by others or not you should ensure that yes now listen here you should listen 
first to understand you should listen first to understand it means what you should listen to others for understanding them whatever others are saying you should listen to understand this person okay whom i was speaking to you, you should understand them you should care them okay now look here already we have seen what are all the do's what should we do already we have seen these are all some don'ts you which you should not do which you should avoid while listening to others it is the human nature of doing all this but you should avoid these things then only you will be a good leader okay don't probe others don't probe others in the sense for example you're prompting others to do something wrong for example if your friend is saying that person uh, pushed me in the corridor that person uh, kicked me when i'm walking like that if something your friend is saying means don't probe them to do a wrong action you to do like this he did that uh, that no so you also do like this you also push him you don't misguide others got it so don't probe others and then don't uh, talk to others to get the information from them for example you are talking to a leader your uh, um, discipline leader or whoever it may be you are talking to them for a purpose that is not fair for a particular purpose you should not talk to them others um, for example if others are talking to you for a purpose will you accept it you should talk friendly with others got it don't uh, be friendly or don't talk to others for a particular purpose to get a pencil don't laugh to others no not like that you should talk to others friendly as normal okay as you do normally okay don't judge others don't judge others in the sense if your friend is regretting for a mistake she, uh, he or she is sharing with you don't judge them as a bad person it may be unknowingly happened okay we we are not responsible for others action but we should not judge others in the same way got it okay advice don't advise others okay nobody will like the advice so don't advise others don't judge others don't probe others last one is interpret interpret in the sense taking the uh, content whatever they are speaking in a different way whatever they speak we are uh, creating a new meaning for that no not like that you should accept whatever they speak as it is don't take some other meaning got it don't interpret others don't probe others don't judge others don't advise others don't interpret others got it don't uh, comment others like this this is also a wrong habit it will hurt this person am i right don't you feel uh, sad for him yes so don't pro uh, probe others don't comment at others don't interpret others okay don't uh, um, comment on others okay yes now these two person are talking but these two person are discussing about someone else that is also wrong if you are probing about someone else in their absence that is also a wrong habit don't do like that okay children i hope you all enjoyed this let's go for a revision of habit number four and five the habit four think win win think win win means what everyone can win you make deposits in everybody's eba okay you you make deposits by speaking the good works whenever a conflicts arise go for the third alternative go for the third alternative in the sense go for a solution which will satisfy both your wants which will make your uh, make you to achieve your wants okay next one uh, seek first to understand then to be understood habit number 5 is what think about other people's ideas and feelings give respect to them uh, think about others point of view then don't interrupt others uh conversation or actions be confident whenever you express your ideas and then look at the people's eye whenever you talk i hope you all enjoyed today's session children kindly make all these habits as your habit in da your daily life if you are making these habits and practicing it daily you will become a great leader surely okay and you can easily achieve all your goals also i hope you all enjoyed Thank you so much for listening. Let's meet in the next session. Thank you.